I'm Dr. Jeffrey Bornstein of Draper Laboratory, talking to you today about an artificial lung technology that we're developing here at Draper. This technology is based on a microfluidics platform, and it's aimed at the development of artificial lung devices that are capable of being worn or carried portably by patients suffering from acute diseases or chronic diseases such as acute respiratory distress syndrome and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Here two Draper engineers, Tatyana Knyazova and Ala Epstein, are testing the Draper microfluidic artificial lung using whole animal blood that has been heparinized so that it doesn't clot during the tests. The blood is introduced into the device using a syringe pump and here we see blood that is being distributed into this transparent multi-layer stack device. The blood that's coming into the device is very dark because it's oxygen poor. As it runs through the device, the blood becomes brighter red in color as oxygen levels are increased. The goal of the device is to very efficiently and very rapidly transfer oxygen into the blood in a way that does not cause clot formation or other problems that can occur during routine use of these uh, treatments on patients. Once the blood has been run through the device, it's disconnected from the pump and a sample of the blood is brought over to specialized equipment that tests for the oxygen concentration in the blood. And then the blood sample is loaded into a special cartridge and that cartridge is then installed into a piece of equipment that is capable of measuring the amount of oxygen bound to the hemoglobin in our red blood cells that carries most of the oxygen through the body. A reading comes out from the meter telling the engineers how much oxygen was transferred. This artificial lung technology represents a platform leveraging Draper's capabilities in microfluidics that can be applied to a wide range of clinical applications for other organ assist devices. Typical artificial lung devices today are comprised of hollow fiber cartridges where the blood flows through very long fibers that are much larger and longer in size than the blood vessels in the human lung. What Draper is aiming to do is to mimic what nature does in terms of the size scales and dimensions of blood vessels.